Hello, hello, everybody. Today I was interested in trying game that is a game that's been on my radar for a while now. Near Automata. It is a game that I've heard a lot about, but hardly any like specifics. So I was interested in giving it a shot. See what it's all like. Because I know next to nothing about it, except that it's a little bit of like a trip at some points. And just like a, a lot of people really, really like it. I think I played like a few hours of it, like years and years ago. But I hardly remember anything. So, figured, give it a shot. Hmm, interesting. Can be changed in the game and on the start menu, but can't be changed here. That's kind of interesting. No, you do not get to change any game settings from here. That's actually kind of funny. Gonna go ahead and set that to full screen. Because usually that gives a little bit of better performance. That yeah, seems like overall good. But yeah, all I know is there's like robots dressed as like maids and twinks and shit. And uh, just things. So let's a go. Ah, does not support autosave. Please play the uh, the game does not say please. The game demands of you. Play the game to find out how to save. That is a funny way to do it. There is no auto save. Only you can. Only you can learn how to save the game. Yes. Let's see. Battles are tougher, and you can't lock on. The standard, most enjoyable difficulty. <laughs> Probably. That is an amusing thing. You can't use lock-on and you will die in one hit. All right, thank you for being up front with me. Enemies are weak and you can equip auto-chips. I wonder what auto-chips are, but we'll just do normal. Because I'm not here for super-duper gameplay madness. And uh, since I don't know the controls... We'll just start the game and see what it has to offer. What day is here? If the hype thing that lives is designed to end, we are perpetually trapped. You mean that these robots were made with planned obsolescence? Is this a curse or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle. Are people gods in this world because they made the robots? <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Well, we know this is a JRPG. They want to kill God. This is Command. Your hot squadron, come in. To be here. All units have penetrated the stratosphere. Autopilot system interesting. green across the board. This is Operator 60. All, units All numbers and letters. Past the 50 kilometer threshold and are proceeding toward the target. Once you reach their anti-air defenses, proceed to manual attack formation. Then destroy the Goliath-class unit by any means necessary, and gather what data you can. Interesting. Understood. Well. <laughs> bye, idiot. How'd you not see it coming? Like, I have a top-down perspective and I saw that coming. Already engaged. Free movement unlocked. Origin point of long-range <laughs> How'd you not see that coming? Once again, you do not have authority to perform that command. We're all dying here. Through the clouds. Let us murder before we're all murdered. Again. Is that just superpower lock on?
But I uh, did not expect... Well, well, there went the fancy one. That one was a... I thought they'd live because they were in the white ship. Oh, now I'm the white ship. Huh. Interesting. What's mobile configuration? Oh, Gundam power! Now we're a twin stick shooter! And I have a sword! Nobody told me that this was Gundam. Well, I guess more mecha. I've never watched Gundam. Maybe I should one of these days. Captain, I think... You could have dodged that. You really could have. Now I am alone in this world. To be to operator 60. All allied units down. The operation is compromised. Awaiting further orders. You're the playable character. Operator you go in and do it alone. We need you to rendezvous with unit 9S and begin gathering data on the local terrain. Understood. Now we're Star Fox in it. Unless this is just a playable cutscene. Looks like we're, looks like just playable cutscene. Or maybe not. I do have to dodge. Interesting organ music playing. Very interesting so far. Whoa. Apparently I've leveled up by ramming into a sentry gun. Honestly, I didn't expect to be able to level up during this segment. Oh, that went into cutscene mode. Not my fault. I can't believe the game hit me with the power of a cutscene. Why even send a spinny guy after me? Unit data has been updated, and I almost... We lost our mech because we drove it into a wall. You'd think that the mech would have survived a bit more. Also, them for thighs. The fan art was not exaggerating. Alert. Large enemy group detected. Yes, I'm aware of that. These don't really seem like combat units. Oh. Oh, interesting! I can just... <laughs> the optimal way of killing these guys is to just shoot them a lot. Or like playing the game is to just <laughs> constantly have this pressed. Interesting. Hello, big guy. I shoot you from afar. Woo! Although, I can already see that, like, uh... The optimal way of playing this game is, a uh, a bit weird, because... Dodging is right trigger. Shooting is right bumper. So you kind of have to crab hand it. Oh, boy. Warning. That is the big one. Is that our target? Negative. This enemy is unrelated. Proposal. <laughs> unrelated? You don't say. Alright, not sure how I'm supposed to dodge that.
Oh, I can destroy its teeth. And now it's shooting at me. All right, somehow I dodged. Ooh, I can shoot lasers now. This is the opening to the game. And missiles. Can't believe I got kill stole. Well, he still has his mech, I assume. Or they. He, she, them. actually dead next time. That was dangerous, man. And I leveled up again. You're 2B, right? My and you... Name's 9S. I thought Our these mechs device. were a bit bigger. Copy that. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? Nope. No, just another defensive system. Oh, well, uh, I guess we have to find the target then. It was huh? like a pinwheel so of so I'll take a excavators. All right, I'll work my way inside from the ground. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have flown our mech through a building. That's my suggestion. Hey, don't drive your flying mech into a building like that guy, 9S. He flew around. System menu. The system menu allows you to check intel, change gear, adjust settings, and more. Tutorial messages like this one can be accessed at any time. Ooh, there's a map. I am. I enjoy maps. Current destination, or well, I guess technically a yeah, destination works. Interesting. Quests. Apparently, I have <laughs> funds and called a G. Heavy attacks and everything. 5%? Well, I guess I, I wonder what that means. Virtuous contract and virtuous treaty. Combat bracers. <laughs> Bare fists! I can just punch things if I want. Skills. Pod programs and plug-in chips. Ah... Optimize chip arrangement. I'll have to optimize it. Oh, OS chip and Android central system. Removal means death. The HUD elements are a chip? Damage values. Huh. Auto use item. <laughs> Auto attack can only be a. All these can only be equipped on easy mode. That's funny. Interesting. That is very, very interesting. Uh, destroy chip? Why would you ever want to do that? Standard machine. Small stubby. Why would they call them that? Well, they're not wrong, but still. The most common of the small machine life forms. These units bear a similarity. Uh, to see spring power toys humans created in the past. I completely read that out of order. <laughs> this was likely done for the sake of increased productivity, though machine life forms are built from modular parts and have many variations. Equipped with projectile weapons, these units can uh, attack by firing energy rounds. While the masses of energy travel slowly, they have enough firepower to easily damage an android's armor. Hmm. Interesting. Hello, hello. We are playing Near Automata. <laughs> and I'm still baffled that 2B flew her mech through a building instead of around it like 9S apparently did. Medium biped. This medium sized machine life form possesses large human like limbs. These arms give it tremendous versatility in, com uh, in battle. I want to say combat for some reason. Don't know why. As it can equip a great many weapons. Small flyer. So it's just a stubby and a UFO. Not even a UFO, it's just a little spinny spin spin. 
a small machine-like form outfitted with a flight device. It, uh, its firearm launches slow-moving energy pulses that can damage even the armor of an android. While the wire on the bottom of the flight device allows it to transport other machine life forms when necessary. Medium flyer. For a moment, I thought it was going to be five stubbies <laughs> in a circle. Like one in the central and then four stubbies around, but no, just one. Like, depending on how important the stubbies are, why not just, like have all of the stubby flights be a medium flyer. Maybe because size? I don't know. <laughs> a medium sub- Then again, who knows? These are weird machine things. Maybe they're all insane. From YouTube? How- or From YouTube? No, Twitch brain is dead. Blech. Howdy, how are we doing today? I'm doing quite well. I just decided to play some Nier Automata and I figured, hey, let's read up on things. Why not? Reading's fun. It allows you to know and knowing's half the battle. Armed with guns atop the devices and wire cutters on the sides, it's capable of taking on enemies in both close and long-range combat. The wires on the bottom of the flight devices allow them to transport other machines when necessary. <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh, it is a completely different symbol language. Maybe the li maybe these life forms are evolving, making their own language. A massive Goliath-class machine life form that resembles heavy machinery of old. While it appears to have been constructed solely for its destructive abilities, a closer look at its features tells a different story. While in combat, it comes after foes with a repurposed bucket wheel excavator. Hmm. Yeah, because really it just seems more like a super excavator than something built for destruction. Granted, excavation could be called a form of destruction. Pet tutorials, wep weapon stories? I have to unlock the weapon stories. How long can I fight amidst the bloody vortex of a battlefield? How long, I wonder? Are we getting existential with the, the, the swords? My first encounter with my lover. Okay. <laughs> sure. Well... Let's move along, I guess, and see if I can, like, play this game optimally. Because shooting and dodging are in, like, the same area, so it kind of requires kind of a claw hand. I... I shoot you. You have guns! Why did you come in close so I could hit you with my sword? I know that you're a little weird robot, guys, but still, I got, I had to pick up a rusty bolt. I can double jump? Huh. Hello, little stubby. Prepare to die. I'm glad that I read up on them. Claw gripping the controller like a melee player. Even when I played melee, I didn't because I never played it, uh, like, competitively. Amber obtained. Well, I guess I don't have to go super duper absolute murder on the stubbies. But I can destroy their projectiles with my gun. <laughs> Natural rubber? What's unnatural rubber? A condom? Also, th that is a teeny tiny walkway. What? <laughs> Why is that a teeny tiny walkway for teeny tiny robots, I guess? But... <laughs> teeny tiny walkway, okay? Again, this music is great. The organ that's playing is blah. Copper ore. To be? Uh, I exist. What is it? I was going to send you the map data I collected earlier. Do it. Do it, Do it now. Oh, I got my mini map now. Huzzah. Uh, 
I wonder what's in this big tube. Or if it's just like a holding thing for grain. I'm interested. What's this way? Is it just the same way? Hello, robot. Oh! You fools! I annihilate you. Oh, hey, a chest! I don't want to jump on the chest. I want to open it. Small recovery obtained. <laughs> secrets. This is uh, an action RPG. I would expect some level of secrets. I see you pick up a ball item. What the? I can float! Interesting. Oh, hello, bitch. Get back here. I'm going to kill you. You try to run. I get 60G from your corpse. You dare try to ambush me? I take your 60G. I highly doubt there's going to be, like, more secrets down the broken staircase, so... Uh, on to Doom. He's coming at me with the Whirl of Twirl arms. The ultimate technique. Oh, I was wondering, it's like, hey, the... <laughs> The minimap was saying there was like enemies around. I wonder where they are. Ah, uh -huh. flying. Now you get back here. Oh, we can we can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Sword or gun? How is this guy having so like my little companion guy have so much ammunition? Oh, you quick shotting little fuck. He spawned, jumped down on me, instantly shot. Like, luckily, this is the PC version, so maybe I'll be able to find a configuration that allows me to shoot and dodge a bit more easily. Depending on what, like, the left trigger does. Because that might be a bit nice left trigger for dodge or maybe right bumper for shoot oh no that's the special then again stop I could have used that quite a bit I forgot that I had that immediately I am a fool but you know what I'm interested now we can't save yet oh uh, let's go to controls so left trigger is lock on I have not been using lock on at all I'm a fool hmm cuz I guess I could maybe swap lock on and evade Because I think that might be a little bit better. <laughs> that way I can shoot and evade a lot easier. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll be good. You know, ma'am, I'm glad you're here. Why? Scanners like me mostly work alone. Oh, Scanners I guess the ninth or like scanner it. nine. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. Ooh. Sorry, ma'am. And another thing. Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. All right, then. To be it is. But I have my controls down. Should use the lock on a bit more. I see the flyers in the background. I see the flyers in the foreground. 
So is this a factory making these little guys? Gonna see if there's anything like on the way down here. It's just, uh, I guess, alternate way to get to the same place. Ah, you think you can shoot me, you fools? I have a gun too. Shot him so much he just fell over. But again, I, most things you, that you shoot do that. They just fall over. And this just leads to the stairs. Are those guys that came up going to shoot at me? They are. Oh. I could have clicked B. Yeah, get a little bit closer. I want to see if I can do just enough... Because <laughs> it, was, it was like, press B on this guy, and I don't know why. Analysis. This elevator's controls are locked and cannot be used. Huh. We're being jam... Or, like, I guess we just don't have administrator access. Sorry, 2B. This has a captcha. We can't get in. sure is big. I guess humans used to use it as a weapons factory. to have repurposed the facility to increase their overall machine production. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. My, the real question is, how dangerous is this place that it was able to stop, like... I don't know, there was like six of us coming in. And I'm the only survivor. Got more of that natural rub. What even is that? Crafting materials? Well, we're probably gonna get... I do enjoy that it's like... I keep forgetting, I can do that. <laughs> Alright, there's like last second dodges I can do. No big swing arms at me. For some reason my brain went, oh boy, I hope they don't throw a werewolf robot at me. Although I would really, really like that. Give me a werewolf robot. Make him jacked. I can't access that right now. I wonder what's stopping me. Is this like the way I'm supposed to go? It's hard to tell. Let me quickly check this way. I assume that this is a secret because the camera was kind of like that. Hello, dead body. Uh, give me your crystal. Oh, it's a shortcut! I think. Maybe? I think this is a shortcut back to the beginning. Yeah. Zwoosh. Zwoosh. I like the dodge. The dodge is nice.
Aren't we machines? Or, or, or is this kind of like no true Scotsman? These aren't. We're not actually machines. These guys are Jesus. A whole swarm of them. A whole goddamn swarm out of two boxes. That was not my six-piece chicken nugget. I shot in the wrong direction. My aiming's bad. It's almost like they're getting faster. <laughs> they're angry at my annihilation of their friends. I uh, don't have any more boxes at me. Right? <laughs> it's all the boxes you wanted to throw at me. Look at that lava. That's some lovely lava. I need to actually learn some combos and not just flail blindly like I am. That's presumably the way we, they want me to go because, ah, oh, this is the elevator that we couldn't access before and still can't. Another battle arena. Alert. Bulletproof apparatus detected on enemies. Close range combat is advised. I know. Like, not all that bulletproof if like a sword will <laughs> How is a sword wielded by a robot like like better than bullets? Boom. I need to get good at aiming. Oh, I see. I Oh, uh, okay. This is cool. Zoro versus 2B win. That would be a cool matchup. Ow, you bastard. Oh, it is shit, okay. The guns are scary. Bastard. Triple bastard. It was it was at the I wonder what that press B thing is. It it pops up from time to time on low health enemies. But I keep killing them. It happened again! And have now you're just taunting me. Now you're just taunting me, you bastard of a game. I want to pick it up. Rusted clump. Man, it's very dark in here. The entire factory? Maybe they I don't believe it. I don't know, moved it somewhere? That this entire platform is going to be the monster. I see you. You have like the same kind of construction as the last thing. Can I No, I cannot jump past you. Ah, chests galore. Is that Plants and animals here than there used to be. Yeah. Probably because the environment's changed. Neat. A 
Well, that's not ominous or anything. Please don't tell me I have to actually walk that like <laughs> the 2B version of Snake Eater. Climb, climb the entire... Bob it above the entire ladder, but it's just running on this runway. I got the machine oil. Oh, I, I, I thought I was like, maybe there's something over here and just almost didn't go close enough. Almost didn't go far enough to be alerted that that was a thing. I need to get good at all the dodging. Well, something's going to happen here. You can't tell me otherwise, game. Oh, it's some... a bit of a hike, but should we check it out? Oh, I thought it was going to be a thing. It's not like command to get a location wrong. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time. I huh? thought it was going to be a whole a whole thing. Hmm. I wouldn't bet on that. Is it actually going <laughs> to Am I going to be proven right is that a platform? Well, something is. Well, it was something. I wasn't completely wrong. Oh, it's going to be a double fight against these things. They're going to make an island out of it. Alert. High power jamming detected. No response from long range communications. Doesn't matter. I'll just take him out. Hiya! Take out more of its teeth. Take out its teeth. So it can't chew me. What happened to the second? Exactly. I was focusing on one so long, I was just like, hey, what happened to the second one? I am in a bad place. Away with your teeth. Away with your teeth. Um. You're only halfway dead. I'm fairly certain I de-teethed you. Uh, it's taking its arms back. Ah, uh, we're getting Transformers up in here. Oh, actually, kinda. Oh, boy. And I dub the Stubby Ultra. Why does the platform have a face? And can jump. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, it doubled its level. Oh, shit. I'm a fool. It didn't even keep its teeth. De teethed. Again, why do you have a face? Oh, it's not very nice at all. And now it's on fire! Oh, hey, 9S. Are you going to scan this thing to death for me? How can I see I am blindfolded? Oh! What's your oh, I thought I was going to play as him. Going to destroy. Uh, right. I'll provide support.
got to keep my eye on this thing. I'm disappointed that I'm not taking away its excavator teeth. And now, uh, now it's a sea monster. Well, good on you. Luckily, I went the right way. Annihilate the arms. Uh, is it gonna do it again? At least it gives like damage warning as well. And I think I was halfway done with killing one of the arms and now we're just really having a, a ball. I, you don't even have a health bar anymore. Oh boy, telekinesis missiles, my favorite. Why does this thing have missiles? I can understand the excavator arms. But why missiles? Karate chop. To be, you had absolutely all day to dodge. And now we are down two mechs. I don't know why him just falling through the air was amusing. Oh boy, we're gonna we're gonna we gotta get in there and excavate the excavator. No response to communication. Ah, so he is a robot. Yeah, you gonna wake up? Oh god damn it. I'm now infested with robots. Hopefully it's too dumb to think about uh going on under the water. Get out of here, stubby. I do find it amusing that it seems that our currency is gears and bolts. It's like this is metal arms glitching the system. And again, this music is great. They took his arms. Well, his arm and a leg. We were killing people. That's helping. I have to repair him. Hod, get me staunching gel and logic virus vaccines. Then access <laughs> logic the virus vaccines. To to field repair Shut up. Just do what I say. To be. Or Just not go. to be. <laughs> Shut up too. We we're so. We take pride in our service. That's one of ours, H I assume. Two two nine flight unit, command six seven seven received. Usage rights transferred from nine N. Uh, ah, also it didn't break. Requesting acknowledgement. Please. At least let me kill you and take your black box. Oh, we'll just leave him here. He's a robot. Take his memory chip. Are we going to use the mech for fighting now to finish this thing off? It's still alive. It perked up. It's not dead yet. Sup, motherfucker? Jesus Christ, why does it have a face laser? Hello, 
Cyclops? Man, this... Oh, it's just saying kill, kill, kill. I wasn't even realizing. Like, I was gonna make the joke that it's like, oh, it's, it's saying something. Every single time somebody says her name, I'm just going to think, like, to be or not to be. The control of the enemy's upper arm. Use your pod. Should be able to take it over. I told you to shut up! You're, you're supposed to be dead anyway. We had an emotional moment. Or maybe this is Metal Gear Rising Revenge. It's logic! What do I press? Oh, I just got punched. Oh, this is cool. Oh! These are control systems. Affirmative. Infiltrating enemy subunit. Behavior table adjusted. Balance This is just epic. <laughs> this is epic. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid. Rising Revengeance. Totally. That's for killing my entire squad. I think we dropped the arm too early. Why are we abandoning our mech again? That is... This is a robot, not a living thing. I don't think that actually affects... You don't get bonus damage for stabbing the PS2i toy. about bringing the battle to them ought to be contact command request assistance no it doesn't look like that's going to be necessary <laughs> there's more of them where there's a whole colony oh great a whole colony of these things they're just saying kill over and over again. I knew we dropped the arm too early. I don't imagine that <coughs> this is going to end well. It's a literal black box. <laughs> the black it, box. It's it, ready. It's like a Rubik's Cube of Doom. You unlock it, you get his memories. Or are we just going to upload our memories to it because we're going to die? Requesting destruction of enemy hostiles via black box reaction. Oh, I was going to make the joke about it Request nuclearizing our reactors, but I guess that's kind of what we're doing. It was an honor to fight with you. Truly. The honor was mine. And now we clink our black boxes together and everything dies. The most volatile wine glass. <laughs> From YouTube. Hello, Neon. Hello, hello. We got resuscitated body. I uh, didn't read it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I thought that was our desiccated corpse floating through space. But nope, that is just us. And monochrome. Huh. Interesting. And now I just have fisticuffs. Oh, we have lots of icons. Classified information. I want to look at the icons. The bunker reboot reunite with 9S. Go, well, yeah, sure. Let's, uh, we have like a bunch of icons, but I can't look at them. It won't even let me go that way. Gotta slide on in. This is my room, but <laughs> I can't even go into my room. 
Can't even go there. We. So, mission complete and all that, huh? The Goliaths were wiped out, and we secured a route into enemy territory. Huh. Now we can. The text oh, nice. is a little slow. Yeah. Thank you for uploading my data to the bunker. I don't remember doing that. Um, I did that? <laughs> Sorry, I don't remember. There wasn't a whole lot of bandwidth down there, you know? Interesting. I probably only had enough time to back up your memories. Mine are only intact up to the point just before we rendezvoused. Huh, interesting. I see. Glory to mankind. We're robots. Glory to mankind. While swearing glory to mankind, I cover my boob hole. And again, dim thighs! This game uses online functionality for message sharing features. Eh, why not? And then immediately after this, there'll be news. Long forgotten exploit in Near Automata allows message sharing to annihilate your computer from the future. Yoha, for the glory of mankind. Vitals green, black box temperature normal, remaining energy 100%. 5012 AD. Oh, Jesus Christ! The year mankind's glorious history came to a sudden. Oh, that's not even the current year! <laughs> when the world was invaded by aliens from beyond the stars. It was probably just people from Mars. Unleashed a new breed of weapons, machine life forms, that all but annihilated human civilization. At, in the year 5000, we were making robots. <laughs> A hundred years later. Humanity launched its counterattack, deploying an army of androids from a network of orbiting bases. Like this one, the bunker. Is this the but last remaining one? More than a dozen large-scale descents upon the enemy. We still haven't managed to repel the invaders. Huh. That is why you, the Yorha forces, exist. This is the just violent Wally, -E, isn't it? War. Understood, sir. <laughs> I wish you good hunting. That's kind of Glory funny. To mankind. <laughs> Glory to mankind. I don't think that that's a robot. To mankind. There was an automation. Like either it's gonna turn out that we, the robots, are like people that got roboticized, or I don't know. Maybe. To be, can you hear me? I'm starting your boot sequence. First, you want to check your brightness settings. We played through an entire hour-long, like, intro, and now we're getting to <laughs> gamma settings. <laughs> that's funny. That that's actually a part of the game. We'll go through each thing in order. Let's start by getting the brightness set. <laughs> that's funny. I was going to make the joke, but it's just like, of course, like, the rich are like, we gotta send the sex bots to war. We gotta make sure that they have fine tits and thighs, Jerry. From YouTube. So this game telling you how to defeat army of alien killer machines by sending hot android girls equipped with swords. Typical anime logic. Again, I don't think it was aliens. We are far, like, we the androids are far more advanced than the little stubbies and attack platforms that look far more like human made. There's gonna be a twist. I like the brightness to be a little nicer. I don't like that. How's it look? Okay. Roger that. Oh, and I should probably let you know this entire process is being recorded for posterity. Interesting. Now let's take a look at your voice recognition settings. Seems your voice recognition is set to mute, which isn't gonna work. I'm gonna call out to you now. Make sure you can hear my voice. Wait, you shouldn't be able to hear me now. Can you hear my voice? Interesting. I like that this is all in universe. All right. Are we good now? <laughs> it's like, yes, no, I'm fine, 9S. There is something calming about your voice. Sure, let's go with that. Oh, uh, thank you. Anyway, that takes care of the settings. Uh, hold on. Your 
<laughs> That's funny. Wait a sec. We need to restore those. I could set it for you, but you should probably do it yourself. Regulations and all, you know? That's funny. All right, then self-destruct okay, on. Good. If things go wrong during an op, you may have to sacrifice yourself in order to finish it. So, <laughs> once you're finished making adjustments, That's you funny. can go ahead and close this out. Ah, we do have eyes. Morning. We're robots. Why do we sleep? Do robots dream of electric twinks? Nine S. The commander's put me in charge of your maintenance, ma'am. That means I'll be performing regular checks on you from now on. Well, you are a scanner. I see. Oh, don't worry. We 9S models are the best around, you know. Oh, so y y you're not just an oh, S model, so you're all just exactly 9S models. Modesty. 9S. Hmm? What is it, ma'am? Stop calling me ma'am. <laughs> I told you down there. But now I have to tell you again because you, you don't have memory. So for me. uh, all right. If you say so. How many times are you going to die over the course of this game, 9S? Uh, I almost forgot. The commander was calling for you. We better go see what's up, man. Or, to be. I have spare boots. I'm a robot. Why do I have spare boots? Oh, neat. I guess this is get balanced. Oh, we can just buy things from here. Apparently, I, I'm holding none. Well, we did blow up down there. I lost all my natural rubber down there. Display a sound analysis graft. I kind of want that. Experience gauge. That would be nice, but not like the most important thing. Fishing spots. Well, this is a JRPG. Hey, did you know that Nier Automata got an anime adaptation? I think I remember hearing about that, but I haven't like, uh, I actually, like, I kind of forgot about that. Hmm. I'm sure that we'll be able to get these later. Hmm. I'm not even sure if it's a good idea to buy these things yet or not. We gotta buy in large. I'm sure we can probably come in here and uh, do it later, so we'll do it later. Who are you? I never get tired of looking at Earth. The hangar, you can get to it from the elevator to my left. Apparently there's a 7B, an 8B, a, a 21O, a 5O. What you need to be near an access point to save your data. <laughs> oh! You can see access points on the close range map. Be sure to save often. Because black box stuff. Interesting. That's kind of cool. And kind of justifies saving, because saving is basically just, like, uploading yourself. That is neat thing. Hello there. You're starting to get quite the reputation, huh? But don't worry, it's all good. The way you used your black boxes to blow up those Goliaths was so awesome. Uh, but try not to actually die, okay? We'll take good care of your data, so make sure to upload it frequently. Looking for command? Just head down the hall to the left. The server administration room is to the right. Take care. See you around. Interesting. Ah, treasure chest! Give! Give to me! Your hoss soldier. Everything's proceeding smoothly. There's no sign that anyone's noticed any... What's your problem? Get out of my face before I rearrange yours. Down we go. I wonder why everything's in monochrome up here. Up, up. 
I'm just gonna jump down. Hello, administrator or commander. Ah, two B. Maintenance finished. I think yes, so. Commander, you detonated your black box in order to defeat the enemy. Two, actually. But risky. Try not to be so reckless next time. It was in a cutscene. I had no control. I know you're fresh out of maintenance, but I have another mission for you. Back to Earth. Head to the surface. Rendezvous with the resistance and do some recon. The resistance. Doesn't Yorha have a dedicated resistance contact already? We haven't been able to get in touch with them. So we'll need you to look into that as well. Interesting. Yeah, because it seems like a bunch of things are offline up there. <laughs> Moon base online. Yeah, it seems like out of like five things here, three are offline. Interesting. And actually has some released, uh, some official episodes now, and I think they're planning to produce more content later. I'm not sure. Just an assumption? I, like, it feels like forever ago that I heard anything about the, like, uh, Automata anime, so I have no idea. The surface? That means we'll be getting flight units, huh? Again. Back to the hangar. Usually we can't get near flight units. Yeah. They're way too expensive for us grunts. Which too is bad they can't mass produce these things yet. It is the year five thousand. How can we not mass produce things? A massive Goliath-class machine lifeform disguised as a building. The tremendous amounts of energy running through its body forces the unit to emit steam in order to stay cool. When attacking, the heat generated from its arms often causes them to become engulfed in flames. Thought to have been produced in limited numbers, multiple units were recently discovered at the abandoned factory, though they were eventually destroyed by black box reactions from 2B and 9S. Ah, that's interesting. Hmm, but said I got mail. Where did I get mail? How do I access my mail? I wonder if I can just access my mail from any of these diddly dees. Ah, inbox! Select inbox and any access point to check your mail. <laughs> Cinder, server manager. This message is intended for the verification of your email account. Members who encounter problems with the emailing system should contact their supervisors as soon as possible. Interesting. How do I not have an email yet? They said I was acquiring a reputation. The hangar's up ahead. Let's go. Onwards we go. And they say flight units aren't cheap, yet they sent multiple to their doom and everybody was dumb and just Stayed in the way of laser fire. Uh, I don't feel so good. Her balance sensors got damaged. She gets motion sickness. Oh, that's funny. No matter how many times I repair the sensors, the problem comes back. It's almost like it's in her head or something. You guys take care of yourselves so you don't end up like her, right? I'm gonna guess that they're evolving beyond their technology. Hey there, are you going down to Earth again? So soon after destruction. I'd give almost anything to spend more time in a flight unit. We'd all like that, but they're expensive, delicate pieces of equipment, so they don't just hand them out willy-nilly. And you combat types are the worst. Last time you used a flight unit, it came back with huge scratches on the side. Scratches? I flew mine through a building! Who do you think fixes that, huh? We do. We work our fingers to the bone to get you a beautiful ride, and you go and crap all over it. All right, all right, I get it, sheesh. Into flight unit. From this sta pl station down to the planet we go, I guess. Hey, Neon, I'll gladly answer uh, any of your questions about the game's lore and also without spoiling the story. Ah, thank you. If I ever have any questions like that, I'll definitely ask.
maybe they want... <laughs> maybe they figure, like, it's probably best if we have somebody to guard the scanner unit after what happened. Oh, boy. Missile barrage! Oh, that was awesome. I hardly hit any of them. I do like that they have these shooter-like sections. It really emphasizes that these things, or like the enemy, aren't just gonna sit around and let you enter their territory. That, like, flying down to Earth is a very, like, costly and dangerous venture. That's actually really cool. Yeah, they don't want these robots to find the, the resistance. Again, I do not buy that it was aliens. It was like, I don't know, the lower... Because these androids, 9S, 2B, and the rest of them, Yorha entirely, were made by the rich. The stubbies and everything... We're made by the poor. At least that's my theory. I can't access this right now. It has a very powerful master lock. We get to overlook the city. Look at all the vegetation. City ruins. Target location acquired. <laughs> Vestiges of prosperity Proceed arrive at the location. city ruins. Many map. The mini map shows the geography around your current location at the bottom right of the screen. The red square icon shows your objective, so make sure to follow it if you get lost. Very interesting. And I got my swords back. I only have medium. Oh, no. Oh, I only have one sword. Did it get... Well, oh, I don't have access to things yet, I guess. I guess we're still in tutorial mode. Very interesting. Once again, also very nice music. Ambiance without it being just ambiance. It is going to... Well, then again, I am, like, taking the holes rather than the stairs. I was going to say... It's like, it's going to be impossible to get back up to our flight units. I do like that we're actually climbing down a big building. Oh, hello, little guy. Are you an enemy? Apparently not. And that's the lock on for very scary enemies. I didn't want to shoot it at him, actually. But oh well. I got a small gear. I mugged them for their money. That does, that is interesting though. They weren't attacking us on sight.
Hmm. I wonder what makes them different from the factory stubbies. <laughs> There's a defin uh, definite distinction between cyborgs and androids. Interesting. What's that? What are these? <laughs> it's a vegetable. <laughs> it is creatures. Interesting. Or maybe they're just... <laughs> that'd be funny. They're like, we have to populate the world with animals again. Build robots of them. Oh, hey, an item. And yoink. Iron ore. Hey, you leave that. <laughs> leave that vending machine alone. According to our intel, none of the machines in this area are hostile. Hmm. We've been seeing more and more enemies like this lately. They just stand there and stare into space. It's pretty weird. Interesting. Ah, map information unlocked. But that's funny that they were just attacking map data the data the data thing. From the system menu. Map data, huh? It's hard to get an accurate picture from this. Our satellite resolution isn't so hot. Hopefully, they deploy some new satellites soon. A general idea is good enough. Oh. You don't let anything get in your way, do you? Other players' bodies. If you have the network feature option turned on, you'll be able to see other players' dead bodies by examining these bodies. You can do the following. Retrieve, uh, you'll temporarily gain three random effects based on the chips the player had. Repair, the body will follow you around and aid you in combat. Huh. A proud man was totally outmatched inside an empty ship. Huh. I guess I'll retrieve. I got money, overclock, taunt, and experience gain. What killed them? But interesting that there's just like basic enemies. Oh, <laughs> it's a finishing move. That's what that is. Random characters. Again, did they all die to the the, the deer? But overall, interesting. Gonna explore just a little bit, or maybe we should head over to the like outpost. I don't know. Oh yeah, now that we're within range. I wonder what ships I have access to. I have two OS chips. Apparently. Or is that just like how much like space it takes actually? That could be it. Let's see. Yeah, apparently I lost my long sword. Oh, I see an item over there. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the big ol' antler, antler monsters were able to, able to just utterly annihilate some players. There's definitely going to be a lot of secrets out here. Oh, 
I can just start fishing if I want. In this little pool, there ain't no fish in there. Highly doubt it. Did not expect him to go flying that far. No response. Interesting. Maybe I'm right and there are no fishes. What the fuck? What, no what, what flew over me? <laughs> Was that the fish come to eat me? Ah, the definitions of cyborgs and androids. For cyborg, it is a biological life form that have technology enhanced or artificial modified bodies, while android is a complete pure machine that are designed in the form and images of humans and behave similar to human beings. <laughs> and then there are Dragon Balls androids. Some of them actual androids, some of them cyborgs, but they're still called androids. And we'll never know why. Oh, hey, it's a pick up a bowl. The resistance camp. You'd think that the robots would find you if all the tarps you have up. So, this is the resistance camp, huh? We should probably go talk to their leader first thing. Why do you have a hat? <laughs> Strange resistance woman. Are you the new Yorha soldiers? If so, you should go meet our leader. Well, sure thing. Leader first. <laughs> and of course, she has to have a cape. Your... Yeah. Number two. Hmm? You know about 2B? Um... Yes, well, the bunker told me to expect you. Is the psychological warfare did you know a previous to be? that controls most of this territory. You must be the new scouts we heard about. Well, one scout, one I'm sure war my unit. I'll have plenty of information for you. Please feel free to ask them anything you like. I expect you'll be dealing a lot with weapons trader and supply trader, so why don't you go say hi? Also, there's this girl near the entrance wearing the head of a machine life form. She's a bit of an oddball, but she's really smart, so I'm sure she's got a lot of useful information for you. Goodbye, Master Lock. Give me medium recovery. Welcome, welcome. It's always great to get new customers. Are you some kind of supply trader for the Resistance? You know it. Every item here is handcrafted from abandoned parts and stuff plundered from enemy corpses. So then, to business. What can I get you? <laughs> A sachet. Interesting. So I guess maybe killing animals is the way to go. We definitely want... Small recoveries, and I guess a few small rec um, <laughs> Oh wait, am I? Have I been clicking the wrong thingies? I've been clicking the wrong thingies. I am a fool. I wonder if these are used for selling or anything. Do you sell plug-in chips? You mean those little doodads that serve as power-ups for your body? Afraid not. I'd love to sell plug-in chips, but I don't have the necessary raw materials. Now, if I happen to get those raw materials, I bet we could do business. But until then... Say, now there's an idea. What if you got the materials for me? I've got this bum leg, see? Can't really get around myself. Can't you just repair your own leg? You work in the supply trade, after all. If only. Unfortunately, all of our parts are dedicated to the war efforts. And I can't spare any for myself. 
personally, I'm hoping you wipe th those machines so I can start dancing again. Until then, well, I'll... But uh, I'll agree to help. All right. Ah, uh, thanks a million. Okay, so I need one broken key, one small gear, and one broken circuit. You can smash up a few small machines to find them. You can obtain them from enemies at the big open area towards the left when you exit the camp. Interesting. Subquest progress. Oh, you must be the Yip with your ha. Huh? I heard about what happened. I deal in weapons if you're interested in that type of thing. What kind of weapons? Basically, I rebuild and repair relics from the old world. Although, to be honest, my tools are in pretty sad shape at the moment. But if I can get the servicing device and that toolbox up and running, I could start fixing and selling weapons again. Take a look at it, will ya? That looks busted, all right. You know it. And as I, and as I bet you can tell, I'm no good at that sort of thing. Sort of delicate repair. Let's help him out. You mean it? That'd be a huge help. Looks like the servicing device shorted out. Must have put too much load on it. I'm thinking four complex gadgets will be enough to fix it. Any idea where I'd find complex gadgets? Folks say you can find them over in the city ruins. Although I also hear the place is crawling with incredibly aggressive machines. <laughs> oh yeah, but the character's definition in Dragon Ball series. Yeah, I'm not sure why they're called that. Who knows? Dragon Ball is weird sometimes. Hey, you're with your hot right? My mask? It's an electromagnetic wave shielding device. I wear it to limit unnecessary information from the world. Ha, huh, just kidding. So, what do you want? Are you worried about something or whatever? Oh, you're just... What should I do if I die? That's a good philosophical question. After your hot body is destroyed, all its memory data is transferred to a new body. That means items aren't transferred, so if you die, you need to recover plug-in chips from your previous body. If you die again before recovering your plug-in chips, they'll all be lost, so take care. Basically, you need to recover everything from your previous body immediately. So, what do you want? <laughs> I feel motion sick. This game is too difficult. If you have any system-related questions, ask maintenance. They handle anything from body maintenance to pod adjustments. That's funny. It was fun talking with you. Come back anytime. Didn't even answer the question of why she wears that. I can't even access that right now. How dare you? Travel to another access point. Neat. Oh, I can go to bunker. Hmm. I want to move to bunker so I can buy things from my shop. There. I wonder how this works, if it just, like, uploads my information to another body so I can do stuff on the bunker and then just sends it back. Gotta find my room again. I went the wrong way, I think. You know a character's badass when they're able to run in high heels. Do 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 do. Let's see. So I definitely want sound waves because it interests me. Experience gauge, I don't really need to know how much I need, like, in the field. But fishing spots, we all need to know where fishing spots are. No. Knowing the various things in this game, that could be, like, an important story thing. To get secrets, you need to... I'm going the wrong way for safe station. But to get important secrets, you need to rest. Why robots and android thingies? Well, not androids. Well, yes, yeah, like androids, actually. I'm a double fool. 
But why we need to sleep, who knows? Yeah, but I'm liking the vibes of this game. It feels like there's a lot of mystery. For the glory of mankind, I still don't believe you. Again, it's like, aliens did it! And they sent the most basic, like, diddly d da d things ever. Totally not, like, humans. Yeah, there's nothing to say. All the resistance members in this area are based in this camp. So we need to strictly manage everything and everyone that comes through here. Open sesame. Ah, another rest area. So relaxing to listen to music, don't you think? Yep. I could tell you were a connoisseur just by looking at you. Here, have this. This is what people used to call a jukebox, a machine that plays music. You can play any song you like on it as long as you have the necessary records. It's yours to use. I now have sound data. That's funny, we can just sit here. That's the best kind of game where you're able to just do things. Let's see, uh, need to go to system, I think. Oh, no, uh... Out of skills. Now I can tell where sound waves are, maybe. Interesting. This is like a completely different system. Map mode. Supply traders request. Dealer request. Apparently that's a big old baddie. Then I guess before we go in, well, we'll do a dedicated save. Because we can. Let's go do side quests! Access points. The world is filled with cleverly disguised access points, which can be used for the following. Unlocking map info, unlocking a save area, a white area on the map, which allows you to save your game. If you find access points that are attacked by en enemies, destroy them to reactivate it. This must have been quite a city once upon a time. Once Too upon a time. claim most of it now. Yes, what do you say? It's time for your regularly scheduled contact. We are good. We are at the watering hole. Good to hear. Say, how's the weather on Earth today? Good? Seems it's good. Fine. Does that question have anything to do with our operation? Not really. I just figured it might feel nice to have some good weather. Feeling nice has no bearing on completing missions. Quit being mean. That is so <laughs> like you to be. Anyway, talk to you later. Well, I guess we'll repair you. Come forth and help us do things, dead body. You're at least will be... Oh, you're level 10. How did you die at the watering hole? We're gonna head back so we can get the supply trader's stuff. I heard an explosion. I got punched because I'm a fool. Get kicked! 
So if I'm really smart, I could do my lock on so I can just automatically annihilate my enemies. Not what I meant to do. I pressed the wrong button. So if I want enemies to die really fast, what I need to do is lock on to them and shoot. see quests well, apparently I need now broken keys and broken circuits let's see there's a bunch of like <laughs> question mark question mark places you there prepare to die yeah, I think these things are the reason why a bunch of people died out here. I shall keep my distance and shoot you from afar. The power of nature. Rules of nature. And I got Beast Hide. This world will be inherited by the machines. Again. I wonder if there's anything on that there bridge. I do like that we can just kind of float down with our companion buddy. I probably killed the enemies that held the things I need. I've missed the picking up the things, for I am a fool. My bloodlust was too much, and I missed what I needed. Your Ha's greatest, being taken down by bushes. Could have sworn that I saw like a pick up a ball around here. Probably, because I found them just sitting around, so I assume that I just, like, maybe kicked an enemy too far away. And it's just around here somewhere that I need to pick it up. It says it's supposed to be in this area. Maybe I'm blind. To be quick, take off the blindfold. It's hindering your mission. I still think I need one extra item from around here. Or uh, around there, more like. I keep tripping over bushes! How is that even possible? What even are you? You are just metal. There's an item on top of that building over there. It'll probably just be like a copper ore or something, but we'll probably go grab it, because we can. Fear the power of the bridge. Interesting that, like, people went through the trouble of setting up, like, these 
walls along the bridge. Because this is obviously, like, post shit went down. Barriers. Well, I'll go ahead for the top of building thing. There's the items over here in the bush. Because we still need a broken circuit. Which the game says is still like in there. It's probably a sneaky, sneaky way to get on top of the building. Probably don't get on. Ah. Or maybe not. Nope, can't get up there. Sadness. It's probably a way, I'm just too dumb to find it. Maybe we just need to leave and come back and let more enemies spawn there to get it. Or maybe we just need to run around and find other enemies to kill. To potentially drop things. Interesting that we can just parkour on these buildings. There's a congregation that we're probably going to have to... Well, not have to, but probably will go kill. Plant life has claimed most of the central area. Big plants, too. Report. Records show that vegetation has grown to an abnormal size since the departure of humans. Huh. Hmm. Wonder if there are any huge boars and such, too. Maybe. I annihilated it and then kicked it into the sky. Just shoot you from afar, shoot you from afar. Get out of here. Okay, another item. Interesting how the flying ones are still hostile. Well. I wonder why they're trying to destroy the communication dealies. What did it ever do to you? Ah, big guys. Big boys. Nope. Get dead. And uh, kick you off into the stratosphere. Whoop. Ah, there you are. Okay. That's everything the supply truck Almost had. missed it. I needed to kill the big boys. Not the itty bitty boys. Man, these chores are a real pain in the butt, huh? The resistance is a valuable ally to your help. By helping them, we also help ourselves. So no, I don't think they're a pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And remember, while you're destroying big boys, remember to stay hydrated. Get 
getting annihilated. I was gonna comment that oh, it didn't explode. And then it did. Give me your energy. I wonder what kind of secrets are just randomly strewn about these rooftops. We just find, like, God chilling up here. It's like, hey, wanna fight? It's me, God. And I knew there was a treasure chest up here. Oh, we can dash midair. The power of the Tex. Can't go that way, the way we came to save the day to diddly D. We have to find a way back. Yep, here we go. Oh, just another dead body. That one was dead for so long, it didn't even have a name. Or maybe they just have, like, unnamed bodies strewn around so that offline players can kind of, sort of, get the experience as well. Another congregation to destroy. Because I thought it said that there were like enemy contacts. You thought you were safe, little man? You cannot be safe. Not while we exist. Apparently alien monster things. I still don't believe that. Sending these guys flying is oddly amusing to me. <laughs> it just goes flying. <laughs> Get out of here. I don't even have a reason to stop shooting at the <laughs> supposedly bulletproof ones. I can pick up an item while my allies shoot you. Oh yeah, Neon, these android corpses you find in the game, don't you think they look similar to, like, a human body? Considering that the androids are made to look human, kind of, sort of. But they seem more like, a. Uh, your ha like body than like actual human body oh, we need to go in here to get items for this is the, the quest weapons trader was talking about uh -oh. I'm picking up oh. hostile machine life forms not him him the one right before us Die. Get back here. And die. Maybe the weapons trader just wanted us to kill these guys. Because they were using big ol' axes. And they were getting in the way of his weapons trade business. Ok, 
Gotta do all these picking up items. Where did those things even get giant axes anyway? Once again, like... The stubby design robots? No way that they're alien. You can't fool me, game. That is my ongoing theory. <laughs> it would feel too weird if they were actually alien. I feel like... Thought there was a... There you are. Are you it? Because yeah, there's still one more we're missing. I think so. To the quest menu, just in case. Yeah, we're looking for one more complex gadget. Actually, in real life, I've seen online that science is developing soft robotics. It's basically machines that function with flexible soft parts and artificial muscles. Meh. That has kind of been the, uh, that's probably it, the dream of robotics for a lot of them. They're like, we want to make human-looking robots. Unfortunately, they will probably all still fail the Uncanny Valley challenge. What the hell? That looked like a purple glow. Or maybe it was just like sunlight breaking through. That's probably just what that was. Interesting. <laughs> but from the angle that I was approaching it at, it looked like a purple... Like, light breaking through. But it was probably just, uh... The diffused sunlight. Yeah, probably just diffused sunlight. Now we can turn in these quests. And this just respawns. Keep me. I did your quest. I think this should be enough to fix... Oh, that's, uh, that is not the weapons trader talking. I think this should be enough to fix up your broken device. Well, how do you like that? Looks like I'm back in business. Good to hear. You know it. I make these weapons to keep my friends safe after all. Although, sometimes I wonder, what if my weapons are just making my friends die all the faster? Ah, never mind. Forget I said anything. Anyway, come back in a little while, all right? I should have some new gear for you then. Hey, it's you. Oh, I almost forgot. I still owe you a reward. I wanted to say thanks for helping me out get these uh, running up again. So I whipped up some, uh, upgrade materials. Ah, and a lot of money. Nice. Wanna try them out? You bet. <laughs> Ancient Overlord? <laughs> Beast Lord? A great sword shaped in the King of the Beasts. A sword with the King of the Beasts as its motif. So this is, like, a heavy weapon. 320 to 350. This is probably like a sort of, uh, a short? A short sword. But I wonder what that means, combo, LT. So it's probably like, this has four light combos and two heavy combo. So Beast Bane is a good, like, light combo thing. A sort of strange and uncomfortable aura. I don't know what any of these, like, truly mean. Hello there, hello, hello. I'm debating on if I want to buy any of these. <laughs> these names are truly JRPG swords. Aren't they, aren't they? Hmm. 
I guess I'll grab the Beast Lord to be my... Like, heavy... Is there anything I want to sell? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Enemies drop more money for 30 seconds. I will never use that because that's too small a thing. Unless, like, I don't know, maybe there'll be a moment where, like, ah, I know I need to farm this specifically. Come me whenever you need help with your weapons. Hey, so where do you get these older weapon models from? Oh, the lady who owns the place sends them over every once in a while. Her name's Accord, and she's a proprietor of this here business. I just tend to customers and keep all the repair devices humming. I only see her every few years, to be honest. She mostly just uses delivery drones to drop things off. I don't know where she gets this stuff, but most of it's in pretty good condition. Say, if you ever happen to run into her, say hello for me, well, right? You can upgrade the weapons you buy here. How much I can upgrade your weapons depends on how much money and materials you have. So upgraded weapons also add effects that improve performance. Give it a try if you like. <laughs> First errand complete. So I'll definitely want to save up to get those. We have enough to do that, but not the money. But now I have no money, so I won't be able to buy anything from you, so I'm probably a fool. Hey, you found the materials! That's great! Now I can start upgrading and crafting items for you. I imagine you can spare a few of, the, of these supplies to fix your leg? Yeah, no. Why don't you tell us what's really going on? See, it's my left leg that's all busted up. And my left leg is the one that's fully original. I've repaired this old body of mine hundreds of times during this war. I've swapped parts in and out so many times I can't even keep track. But this leg, this left leg, it's never been touched. So if I go and replace that, what happens? I mean, would I even be me anymore, or would I just... Anyway, it's my own problem. Didn't mean to trouble you with it. He doesn't want to ship of Theseus himself. Seriously, how have you been, man? I've been decent. The uh, brain has been a little bit of a bitch when it comes to wanting to create things, but overall, I can't complain, I guess, on the overall overall. I should be getting more inventory soon, so swing by when you can. Welcome. What are you buying? Now we can buy just about anything from you. Weapon attack up increases. <laughs> Cost 11 blocks. Yeesh. Oh, like 11 lines. Max health up by 5%. Maybe, maybe in the future. Wait, what? Remember when Diddy Kong Racing had a CD of the soundtrack that was completely unplayable because they made the CD in the shape of Diddy Kong's head? I have never heard about that. But that... But I could... That sounds like something that somebody would do. That sounds like something somebody would do. Let's make a the thing... Make it unique and then just completely unusable due to that uniqueness. Oh, hey, I actually have a request for you as well. There have been lots of reports of dangerous machines appearing in the desert recently. This is very unusual, so it may be indicative of something bigger. Now, I hear you Yorha types are pretty good at examining things. Do you think you can look into this whole mess for me? Let us help her, because we can. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. I'll tell our allies in the desert that you're coming. Be careful out there, okay? Ah, we're robots. We can die infinite number of times. And remember, while you are dying, at least stay hydrated so that <laughs> you only die a little bit. Especially since we're going to the desert. But before we do, 
I want to at least check that out. Since it seems to be, like, in the area that we're nearby. It's probably gonna be something that kills me, but hey. Yeah. them softly going, hey, make sure they have all your supplies. Hey, hey, make sure you have all the supplies you need. Goodbye. But now I actually have like a heavy weapon for my heavy attacks. Once again, music, but I can't make out the lyrics. I think it's in English. <laughs> to be made be an android, but seriously can't be comfortable in those heels. It's the only life she knows. Fear my power. I need all the money I can get so I can get those other swords. Or upgrade my current sword. Hey, the bolts disappear on me. How dare you? From YouTube. Well, Neon, I've read science articles that document experiments such as small bots and manta ray design that have that can swim well with working muscles made with uh, rat cells. Hmm. Interesting. Every day, science gets a little creepier. So long as it's not my cells they're using to make them with, I guess. If it weren't for the fact there's so many, like, tech bros out there that are like, Yeah, let's replace all humanity. It'd sound a lot cooler. Get blasted. We can climb this. Wonder what'll be up here. <laughs> Just a chest. I wonder if I can fly from anywhere. Oh, hey! You leave that safe station alone. Again, I wonder why they're trying to attack it. All of the robot thingies are, like, normal. Or, like, not normal, but, like, non-hostile. Just doing their own thing. And then these guys are like, no, we must kill. Oh, wait, wrong thing. Test equipment. Or lost equipment. Blech. There was something I forgot to mention prior to your sortie. According to our analysis team, the equipment that was lost when breaking into the abandoned factory is still there. They've marked its estimated location, so be sure to pick it up next time you're in the area. Ooh. We can just go back and grab it, I guess. I think we went the wrong way. Or like... Or have we? Wrong thing. That doesn't lead to map. Or did it? Oh, that's what that was. Gotcha. So I guess if I go to all quests, I guess technically I don't have quests. I have like main things I need to do. Nothing new. Huh. 
How long can I fight amidst this bloody vortex of a battlefield? Beast Lord, <laughs> once upon a time there were three princesses. The eldest princess was thought by all to be the most brilliant woman in the kingdom, and she soon sat upon the throne of her homeland as their queen. Interesting. So I think this is actually going back to the, like, place, right? <laughs> From Twitch chat, yeah. Sonic 06 does have kind of a weird plot, but at the same time, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. Only kind of... For a moment as I was moving the map, I thought that red diddly D was moving on its own. Hmm. Hmm. I'm interested. So I think we're going to head back here, like, maybe see if we can get to these red dots. And then we'll come back to this area in a second. Now I wonder, like, how Sonic 06's story would have been taken if the game was a bit, like, better. But I do find it amusing that people are like, Oh my god, a human woman kissed Sonic the Hedgehog, when all the way back in Sonic's planning phase, they were planning on giving Sonic a girlfriend, I think, called Madonna. So it's just like, not that crazy. But who knows, maybe it is I who is the weird one. Why would they just put a bunch of shipping crates up here? Either this is nothing or this is something. Hi. Can't even open. Oh, I can open that. I thought I couldn't for a moment. I got impact bracer. Why did it go into a different diddly D? I think Bracer is a weapon type. And apparently not. Huh. Maybe it's an item? Oh, pod model. Grimoire. Cardboard pod. Can I actually... I now have a grimoire that shoots bullets! What's your magic spell? Gun! But yeah, we'll go over the bridge and see what those, like, red dots are on the other side if we can. And hopefully not die. I wonder what even is that that's stopping me from opening those. That lets us go with our big ass sword. Through the power of Grimoire! But I wonder what other things. Because was that just in items? I think that was in items. Then there's Machine Mask, a head covering worn by machine life forms. <laughs> Cardboard, interesting. I want to give them all their fair shot. I think Retro Red is what we normally have. Huh, that's actually kind of a neat skin. Basic, but nice. I, the music is changing as we enter this area. Yeah. 
The Grimoire, that's a near replicant reference from another game title. Hmm. I have no idea how or even if any of the near games are connected. At the same time, like, even if it feels like they definitely shouldn't be connected, they're probably connected. Are you- wait. What the hell is that? Oh, there- it's the enemies trying to attack the save network. You leave that alone! For a moment, I thought it was like, is that a big lumpy ball as an enemy? Is this just the starting area already? I thought we... So near the starting? <laughs> How the hell is this place right next to a city? Is that my body? Well, this is my sword. Huh. I was wondering where that went. You obtained Virtuous Treaty. Also, how did we get here? Our body was out, out elsewhere. So a bit less, but I have to have the full set. I right, take my body back. And I got all my recovery items back. Hell yeah. I spent so much money. I wonder, like... Well, somebody else died here. Considering that that elevator existed. Ah, you know what? Let's backtrack already. There's a dead body in the corner. How are people dying out here? Or are these just randomly generated bodies? Like how Sekiro does it. Then again, that gave me, like, I assume... I don't even know what that was. It gave me a big, like, number compared to, like, the normal, like, 800 that I'm used to. Nope, can't use yet. But being able to come back means something. But just, like, the fact that we are able to come back here and do things intrigues me. Whoop! They're very hit-happy! How dare you swing a ding-ling all at me! I hit you in here! And you have a long range. Now I send you flying. Now die. I wonder if these are poor, poor fools who died during the tutorial. Oh, I already healed up. Nice. By consuming the dead robots. I <laughs> heal, I guess. 
Now, Nier Automata takes time in the far future Earth and is part of the Nier game series timeline. Yeah, but I don't know how coherent that timeline is. For all I know, it's like a Final Fantasy timeline. Could mean anything. But I do- I wonder why this is like the one near game that like everybody knows. Compared to the other near games. Because Nier has been around for a decent bit, so... I wonder why this is the one that exploded it onto the wider gaming consciousness. We'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Whoop. Get shot in the corner! Get shot in the corner! Multiple people dead in here. Still can't open that. I wonder what it even is. Somehow this dead robot got... Well, it's a copper ore now. It was a crystal before. Ah, enemies are coming. Whoop. Now you stop shooting guns right this instant. <laughs> stop turning this JRPG into a bullet hell. I need to use that laser more often. I wonder why I don't have those bullets. Is it meant to be like, no, this is the alien bullets. You cannot shoot them, only the aliens can. This item came back. <laughs> you have... <laughs> you brought a shield this time. It's not gonna help you. I definitely need to use lock-on more. It's very handy. I want to see how far I can backtrack if there's any secret. We get to the... <laughs> we go all the way back to where the first boss was. Sephiroth is waiting. <laughs> That'd be amusing. I wonder what kind of, su like, hidden super bosses this game might have. You can never tell with some games. With these flying guys, I just have to point and shoot. And I hardly even need to point. Because they are allowing us to go all the way back here, so... Has to mean something, right? Well, there's something. This wasn't here before. Your silver ore. Darn it. I don't know. I thought there would be, like, a secret or something. Again, Sephiroth. Maybe the secret is later. When we secretly learn that we're actually in a time loop. 
And we have to free all the monsters from the underground. Oh, yeah, another broken key. And a dead body. <laughs> Give me your stats and your healing. How we heal from a dead body? I guess it makes sense because robots, but still. Kind of cam and cannibalistic, ain't it? Look at the power running that we're doing. Wait a second. I think we can jump off that to that that red bit. Wait, they dropped an item. Mine. Because there's a break in the railing. So we can do a thing. Secrets! Interesting. Huh. Excuse me. Yeah. I don't know why I sneeze in twos. I do not know why my body does it. Interesting. Alright, man. Almost forgot to pick you up. We gotta go fast. It gotta go fast. Terminator, but it's 2B that gets sent back to kill John Connor before he's even born. I think that would be amusing. <laughs> like, imagine the T-1000 just sprinting with this conviction and in high heels. You think you know terror? Imagine the T-1000 in high heels, barreling towards you. Wait, no, I think because this is the way that's forward. Interesting that they let you come back to this section so early. But hey, I got my heavy sword back, so... Granted, I spent 10 G, uh, 10 kgs on another one, but this is the original. Why I have my light sword but not my heavy sword, I do not know after dying. Da -da -da -da. Then again, also, if you saw the T-1000 sprinting at you this caked up, that would also be probably mildly horrifying. I do like that they don't let you just fly off to your death. It ruins my parkour a little bit, but it keeps me safe. Is this an unopenable? What even are you, secret thingy? Oh no, it's Windows 10 administrator, like, requirements. We just don't have them. In the far future, all the androids are running on Windows 10 because Yorha refused to upgrade to Windows 11. But yeah, I think. Well, apparently we missed a secret back there. Huh. Oh, because it's fucking deep in the ground? Huh. Well, we wandered around there long enough. We're, we'll move along and maybe come back and poke you. But there's also a secret thing back there, so...
We fly away. Hey, Neon, what's your opinion on AI art? For me, that kind of work is impressive, but it should replace human creativity because art and culture is from the heart is instead is a, it's a, like a, bye bye, one second. The diddly D YouTube, like, ah, reactions thing covered just a little bit, bleh. Because art and culture is from the heart and, uh, instead, it's better as a digital toolbar. AI? The problem is, AI is, like, AI-generated art is, what's the word I'm looking for, like, a, it is unsustainable without explicit theft. As well as the fact that it isn't, like, good for, e like, all the things that tech bros and stuff say about AI art is, like, it's not even good for that. It's just a little dopamine theft machine. That's all it is. Because if you actually tried to sit down and make it work as part of a, like, a, an actual project flow, it won't work. Like, there was a, a, a recounting from a guy who was working on a project, and the head person was like, ah, we're going to replace things with AI art, and they hired on like preliminarily some AI prompter dudes and they were completely unable to follow even the most basic of like flow requests like hey can you change this one little thing of this concept art to this and they were completely unable to and only were able to generate entirely new things it's just AI generated art is just bullshit. Like, when it... Basically, there's one generator. I don't know its name. It was, like, made very early on. And it is entirely only you, like, uh, trained on public domain photos. Like, you know all of those, like, really, really early on AI-generated art memes? Where it's just, like, random characters like kind of amorphously placed in a courtroom that's because that generator had very very little like artwork of those characters to go on but had a ton of public domain like courtroom sketches that is the one that i think is good because it's actually moral the problem also is that like tech companies are inevitably super capitalist so they're always like, oh, they have to grow, they have to grow, they have to grow. But they can't grow because there's nothing to grow to anymore. They've basically stripped as much as they can and have even said that like, oh, we have to steal because we can't afford to license like all this stuff. It's just like, it's just bleg. Bleg, bleg, bleg is what it is. And the thing is, every single AI tech bro is just like, oh, we don't want to replace people, we just blah, blah, blah. But no, like, every single time, it, in, in, like, immediately was trying to be used as a weapon against artists. Every single time. And they're always trying to gaslight you, or they just have, like, the dumbest takes, like, Oh, but the AI generator thing, it thinks like a human. No, it doesn't. All the AI generated things are able to do are take pixels that they're trained on and replicate those pixels in different configurations. And even when they're like, Oh, but what about this? What about that? And, like, overfitting has happened too consistently for me to give a shit about anything any AI bro has to say about AI generated stuff. It's the same thing with like AI generated like writing. Like when it's the super dumb ones, it's funny. And I will never like, uh, I will never forgive tech bros trying to be like, oh, we have to make it good. No, keep it dumb. Because even if it's dumb, 
it could still be used as maybe like a little bit of a like writer's block breaking like hey give me a dumb prompt or starting point as an exercise but no they just had to go and steal from five quadrillion sources Jesus that's a lot of we're, we're, we're gonna upgrade these if we can oh and I ran out I need more beast hide because basically AI like AI is good as an additive when it's a small thing like what if there was an AI like tool that f was used in animation to try and auto color like simple flat coloring onto characters AI is good for like taking mundane repetitive basic tasks and automating that but that's not what tech bros want tech bros want to replace humans because they have tiny dicks they're little whinging babies who hate that there are people who are creative and they're not one of them so they automate the creativity as best they can and it fails so they steal that creativity as much as they can it's just bleg we need to get more beast high to upgrade my thing because ai has a place in the creative flow of like actually making things the problem is tech bros and capitalist companies want to replace as many people as possible while paying the very few remaining humans as little as possible and that's why there was like a bunch of like ai voice generator things that were out and about for the longest time in the beginning and then all of the like celebrities threatened to sue and they all closed down because nobody wants a generic ai voice they want a famous person's voice like even open ai was recently threatened with suit because i believe scarlett johansson's voice they tried excuse me they tried to legally obtain the rights to her voice to train in an ai diddly d she refused they apparently made it anyway and before launching it was sent another email like hey where would you like to reconsider and then launched it before the, she even saw the email the problem is there are no creatives like being like consulted when it comes to the creation of the ai's because no creative would look at anything the ai companies are doing and say hey that's a good idea so either they were consulted and then just thrown away or they were never consulted because the AI companies knew that the create would say this is dumb you shouldn't do that it's just another stage on capitalist cancer where it's trying to get as much growth for the sake of growth as possible and is killing itself and others at just a shocking speed. And sure, there are some people like, oh, you're just being a Luddite because you hate progress. But the thing is, if I recall correctly, the Luddites actually didn't hate technology. They hated unethical technology that were just brazenly replacing humans for the sake of replacing humans they w didn't mind technology if it benefited the person and the problem is ai is just like fucking everything up like just today on my t twitter timeline it is not x it is always twitter there was a call out post for a furry porn artist that ha was just tracing mid-journey generations and selling them and now just like 
it's just very tiring where you like look at something and go, is this real or is this an AI generation? And it hurts because like, it's entirely possible that that is an artist that has spent years or decades honing their craft. Or maybe it's some dipshit in their mother's basement, unable to have an original thought, just lying. Luckily though, like there are like, s there's certain levels of like AI generation stuff that is very easy to spot if you've seen them though. Like, uh, I am a fan of the, uh, Generation 4 of My Little Pony. I'll, speaking of that, we'll come back to that. AI generation is relevant to that to a degree. Is, uh, like, this, considering the fandom is so big, there is a lot of AI-generated pony art. And I have seen so much of it because it was all... Because, sadly, my favorite pony-centric like, a uh, art posting niche site allows AI-generated art to be posted. So I've seen a lot of basic bitch AI generations. So when it comes to certain kinds of AI art, I can spot it decently from a distance, but the problem is there's always going to be some artists that vaguely resemble AI art because basic bitch AI generations obsess over certain detailings and lighting to the point that I can decently spot... I'm trying to get my my usable items up, but the diddly D isn't working, right? Well, I'll try to dodge. But yeah, like, the basic bitch AI generation stuff has an uncanny valley effect to it once you've seen enough. Once you've seen enough AI generated art, unless it is like, uh, actually some thought put into it, some effort you kind of start to see how the AI textures things. How it does lighting and how there's like an uncanny valley to it all. And the sad thing is, if a lot of people that were like... I have no idea how... One second. I'm gonna unplug my controller. I think that might be part of the problem. I'm trying to use the menu, but it's not working properly. It is annoying me. Hmm. Game, will you stop? I'm using a controller. But I don't think it likes that for some reason. I can't get to my normal recovery items. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. Like, it goes away so quickly, I can't, like, manage my inventory. There. It goes away so quick, I hate. That's annoying. I don't like. I'll definitely have to mess with my settings there. That's weird. But yeah, overall... AI generation, like could have some place in the workflow of creation and creating things, but the problem is they don't want individual tools. They don't want a smart, like, fill bucket where you're able to use the book bucket tool in an art program and it smartly knows what lines to fill in. Like, they don't want that. They don't want a smart selection tool. They don't want a smart morphing tool. They don't want a smart perspective tool or anything. They don't want to automate these little tools that help the workflow. They want to replace the entire workflow, and that's just not how it's going to work. And the problem is they're so they're such dipshits. That they're just like, it's inevitable, it's inevitable, stop, stop fighting, it's inevitable, it is not inevitable. 
They're just basically they are the they are the Confederate lost cause of technology. They're nothing but a bunch of whiny bitches who haven't done a single thing in their life trying to convince you of something that isn't real. I need another beast hide, damn it. Cuz again, there is a place for AI assisted tools in technology. But every single person majorly pushing AI doesn't understand creativity and nine times out of ten doesn't understand AI. They just say things. Marketing buzzwords. At this point, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if a majority of like the tech bros saying, oh, it's the future, stop fighting it. Uh. Like, if they're not even real. If they're just bought and sold social media accounts to shill for, like, <laughs> AI companies. Just, like, some loser CEO sees a thread they don't like and send, the, send in the bots. Send in the arguers. Hell, if I remember correctly, there's even a thing... Where apparently, like, I think it is China has, like, a program where teenagers can just get a job by pretending and faking online, spreading misinformation and stuff. It's just, it's a whole shit show. I don't want moose meat. I need monster hide. Yeah. Well, Leon, what about other AI content or virtual items such as Hatsune Miku from Vocaloid? That's different because it's not really AI. Hatsune Miku isn't AI because Hatsune Miku comes from a specific kind of vocalist emulation technology that existed long, long, long before the current kind of like, AI vocalist, like, technology that's been running about. Because Hatsune Miku is basically, I think, like, an actual person, I think, like, with doing, like, certain vowels and stuff, and then the thing was entirely made to try and simulate singing in a certain direction. But ultimately... It isn't just like, uh, it's just like it functions differently. I never played with Vocaloid, and I haven't played with any of the current gen, like, voice stealing singing technology. But I just do believe that there's a difference. And plus, like, again, Vocaloid doesn't steal voices like the AI generated voice stuff currently. Let's go ahead and upgrade that because we can. Huzzah. We have, but every, like, uh, nowadays, whenever I see, like, the AI anything, I just wonder, like, is this, <laughs> is this eth ethically sourced AI? Maintenance shop owner. Hello, you're of your heart, aren't you? Oh, that's a completely wrong voice. This is the maintenance shop. I service and consult all types of Android bodies. Can I help you with anything? Huh, interesting. Oh, upgrade pod. I do not have, <gasps> why would you need a mushroom to upgrade pod? Increase plug-in capacity. Interesting. Analyzes all enemies in a fixed radius. All commands deliver a series. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Might have to save up and get that 24 storage. But yeah, like, uh, before the whole trend, AI stuff was like a fun little, like again, uh, I, I just got completely off track on things, but uh, quickly jumping back. First of all, apparently, like, uh, there have been multiple, like, Generation 5 My Little Pony show things going on. And apparently one, like, just kind of completely broke down because the head, like, person of that company just said no to Hasbro, demanding that they use AI-generated voices. So that show is, like, not going to continue. 
because I think it was one of their, I think it was their YouTube show or something. I forget. I haven't been keeping up with it. But disappointing that Hasbro is going down that path, but not surprising because Hasbro is also in charge of Magic the Gathering, if I'm correct. And Magic the Gathering sent the Pinkertons after a guy not too long ago. But then there was another thing I was going to talk on when it comes to AI, but now it's slipping my mind. I had it, and now it's gone. But yeah, one main issue with it is that it is impossible now to tell if, like, somebody is using an ethically sourced AI thing or not. So I basically just completely ignore, like, any kind of AI content. Which is sad because, like, uh, Doug Doug, Twitch streamer who does a lot of funny stuff, like his videos, but he's just introduced a ton of AI into it. And it's just like, I have no idea what AI stuff he's doing, what he's using, if it's ethically sourced or not. And that, like, that hanging over th the... It just, like, harshes the vibes to the greatest degree. And the problem is, you never know. You just never know. Quickly check the map. Because I do believe we need to go this way to then get over here, because... Oh, but yeah, basically... Oh yeah, I have just remembered the other thing I was going to talk about. One YouTuber that I really, really like is uh, Snapcubed. Especially with their uh, fan dubs of the various Sonic game cutscenes. They have two episodes in a series called, uh, I believe, Sonic Destruction, where the uh, head person of the channel, Penny, I believe her name is, or their name is, I forget, uh, and they used, like, an AI dungeon to make a script where it's usually just the AI just going off on an insane tangent, and then they had their fan dub friends voice it, and that was hilarious! That was fun! Uh, but then the AI stuff just started going down the dark path. Because that was back when AI stuff was funny, 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 aha. Uh -huh. And then it, then it started to get into, we want to replace humans. Fuck you. And so episode three of Sonic Destruction has been put on hold for years because of corporate greed assholes. Because I think there is a place for dumb AI generation. But the problem is, the people in charge of AI generation don't want it to be dumb. They want it to replace everyone and be everyone and everything. Yeah, hate it. It is to the point that, like, I am all for just, like, the outright annihilation from a legal standpoint. AI generation. Because it's just... The only way to stop it is to utterly, completely annihilate it. And I'll definitely need to check and see. It's weird. It's like, every single time I'm not pressing anything, it defaults to keyboard. So, that's so very weird. But at least now it's on there, so I just need to press that and press B really quickly. Come here. Anyway, I see online that says uh, about a real Japanese man who is officially married to Hatsune Miku as husband and wife in real life. I think I did hear about that. Not sure what how that works like from an IP standpoint or a copyright standpoint. But hey, the world like unless he starts attacking like fan art is like how dare you draw lewds of my wife? Of which then, my dude, shouldn't have married one of the most internet looted wives available, I guess. But like, if he just keeps to himself and lives a happy life with his virtual waifu, eh? He can do whatever he wants over there, I guess. Ain't bothering me. No different than the people that like marry the, what's it called, the, 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 what is it again? The Eiffel Tower. It was right on the tip of my tongue and I just lost it. So 
there's probably a way to the far right. Probably up these escalators. I see a light over here. What are you? It's a plant, a glowing plant. What are you doing here, glowing plant? You dare exist in my world? You do not deserve to exist in my world! I wonder what, like, the craziest things people have married are. Like, again, there's the Eiffel Tower, probably the Statue of Liberty. Probably a few bridges. I don't think I can get up there. It seems just close enough that I might be able to, but I don't know. Because I thought we'd be able to get to there from here, but it's beginning to look not like that. <laughs> Maybe it's possible that I went to the one place, like the backtrack area, too early. And I needed to go complete those, go back, and then like, here's your mission, and then I go back there, there, maybe. <laughs> and from YouTube, uh, you're in the wrong place when it comes to the main story. Eh. Then we shall make our way differently. At least there's nice music playing. Or Oh yeah, I forgot that way. Yeah, I'm dumb. We don't have to go back to the backtrack place because there was that, uh, like, uh, this place that leads out into the open world. I forgot. We beat up two big boys here. For some reason, my brain was just fixated on that bridge. Drop your shield! Get obliterated. I just shoot you. Ah, he attacked me from off screen. That should be illegal in 50 states. The moon has states. Has to by now. If humans went to the moon, they've obviously cut it up into different countries. And they sent all the poor people to the dark side of the moon. Hey, what are you doing here, shop man? You're from your hut, right? I've heard about you guys. Why are you voiced but nobody else? Head on over. Just remember that there's nowhere to resupply out there. If you need anything, best to take care of it here while you can. What can I help you with? <laughs> That's just funny. This guy is the one who gets to have voice acting. Everybody else, including like the shop people, nah, they don't get voices. <laughs> But we've been going for about three hours, and the game is being weird with my controller. No idea about that. I'll have to try things. So I think this is a good place to stop. Mostly because, again, I would go longer, but I don't want the controller stuff to go weird. Because the moment I stop pressing things, it defaults to keyboard. So that would get in the way of, like, me trying to actually play the game. So I think we got to a good point. We ran around a lot. Which, at least, like, that was fun. Being able to run around a lot. The world is nice. Exploring. We'll have to maybe look for secrets at some point. But yeah, we've been going for three hours. Which, we were at a decent beginning to the next section. I got my sword back. My magical telekinesis swords. So I think this is a good stopping point to then launch off to the next part where we get to continue the story. And hopefully after I 
do some uh, fixing of the controls so that it doesn't default to my keyboard eternally if I'm not always pressing a button, which will inevitably get me killed. Don't know why that, like, affects that menu, where it disappears immediately. So I have to, like, hold a thing to keep it up so I can actually do it properly. So, yeah. This is very interesting, very mysterious. The character designs are nice. The world is, so far, is kind of typical post-apocalypse. Again, I do not believe aliens sent these robots. But this was fun. This was fun and will definitely continue next time. Well, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, everything I do is linked in my link tree. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings or direct links in the various description bios and link places of uh, everywhere that I'm active. So if you want to see edited YouTube content from me, I swear, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make new edited YouTube content eventually. Just have to wrangle the old brain. And then if you want more streaming, either YouTube or Twitch streaming, whichever you prefer, is available. With all of these streams being uploaded to the YouTube stream channel after the fact. If you want other things from me, similar to my little character in the corner, you can follow me on the various sites that I post various art to. And then if you want to read stories I've written, there are links to the various sites that I also post writing to. I even posted a new chapter thing up today. And then, of course, finally, there is my Patreon, which is just a little donation box to simplify things for the very generous out there in the world. But, yes, thank you very much for watching. Remember to be true, be happy. What was it? Stay true, stay happy, be kind. But most importantly, I'd be kind and stay hydrated. I don't know, my brain is just melting. Blech. But anyways, thank you for watching and spending your time with me. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>